Hello everyone, I'm Phoenix Tremaine and today we're going to be talking about your soap operas coming and goings from not only Days of Our Lives, but also we got a couple from Young and Restless and a couple from General Hospital. Instead of doing three different videos, it's not a, it's not enough people in General Hospital and Young and Restless to have their own coming and goings like I do for Days of Our Lives with my 19 people. Um, so I'm just going to bring them all together and I'm going to start with Days of Our Lives. But first, if you haven't done so, please take a minute to subscribe. If you have subscribed, thank you very much. Really appreciate it. Please hit that like button because every time you hit the like button, lets you two know this is a good video for so fans so they can be part of our so fam. And we're almost at the 25k mark. If you all in, so I'm like hoping and praying and wishing and you know I got the fingers crossed, the toes crossed, everything because that's a major milestone, 25k. And you know we're already climbing that ladder to that next one. And um, you can become a member where you can get exclusive videos and early access for videos. My membership, uh, um, folks, they got this video, I think, Monday. I think I, I put it out there Monday. But for my subscribers, I usually wait for the end of the week to see if any news, new news have come out. And then at the end of the week, which is usually Saturday, I release it for everybody. So um, if you want to be a member and see things really early, Go on ahead and hit that join button and discover how you know how to become a member and all the perks to becoming a member. And so I always take a minute to thank my membership, Megan Maloney, Samantha Greenwich, Michael Pyre, Gwen Marie, Yvonne Todd, Penny Wiseman, Jeff Payton, Rebecca Martinez, Shannon Clark, Casey DeGrenia, Patricia Bell, Brian McConaughey, Christy Power, Angela um, Landio. And Phyllis Pearson, thank you very much for being part of membership. I love both my subscribers and my members. And um, I thank everybody for being part of SoFam. Because now I'm about to do your coming and goings. What is not on the, on the coming and goings I, I gave the folks earlier, earliest week, is Laura Lee Bell of Young and Restless is going to be back on the show. It does not say for how long, but Tracy Bergman, I'm sorry, Tracy Bergman, who plays Lauren uh, Finmore Baldwin will be back to the show. So I got her name wrong, but Tracy Berg, um, Bregman is back to Young the Restless. And um, I think that's it. I think that's the only new. Oh, Victoria Rao. There's a big rumor out there that Victoria Rao has come back to Young the Restless and she's going to be Jack's new love interest. Victoria <laughs> went on on uh, line and said fake news. She, she hasn't been offered to come back to Young and the Restless. Um, she's open to it, but fake news. And, um, yeah, that's that's it. That's all of the the people. I've, I've, I'm double-checking right now. I'm double-checking. Um, Kayla Ewell will be um, returning to Bold and Beautiful. She is the wife, the real-life wife of... Um, Tanner Novelin, Novelin, who plays Dr. John Finnegan. That's the guy who's Steffi New Man we've been waiting for. And she's going to be the body double for Steffi. And they actually kind of look alike, so I, I can definitely see that. But according to this, she was also on the show a while back in, in um, 2004 to 2005. She played Caitlin Ramirez. And she currently plays Nora Truman on the show Roswell on the CW. So yeah, she's going to be on Bold and Beautiful. And so now I'm going to give you the coming and goings that I gave the members earlier this week. I hope you liked them. hope you enjoyed them. Go ahead in the comment section. Let me know what you think. And I'll see you in the next video um, after you watch this. Tamara Braun is coming back to the show as Ava Vitale. If you remember, um, her initials were one of the initials that was in on the rooms that Dr. Rolf of Resurrected People. So it'll be just easy for them to do a flash pack to remind people that there were different doors with initials on it. One was AV. Uh, a cool note about um, Tamara Braun returning as Ava Tally is there was a note um, in one of the spoilers saying that we're going to get a much calmer uh, Ava. She won't be the crazy woman that she was the first time doesn't mean she won't do crazy things but she'll be sort of calm on a Kristen level um, and they'll probably ramp up the crazy around November sweeps or something but um, 
yeah, Ava's coming back. And the good thing about her not coming in just like, you know, on 100, <laughs> on the crazy train, is that it allows her to be on the show as a regular cast member versus a villain that will do something horrible. And then there's no way to really keep her on the show because of all the crimes she's committed. Even though Xander gets away with it all the time, you know, it seems like, you know, her character, once she does something really crazy, is goodbye. So we also got an update on Brian Dottillo. Dottillo. Um, he plays Lucas Horton. And he announced to his fans on his um, is either Instagram or Twitter account that he's going to be on the show for a long-term storyline that could last up to one to two years. So not only are we getting Sammy back for at least a year, um, Lucas is going to be around too. I know they're doing a big story around Allie, so it makes sense that Lucas will be around for the duration of, um, at least what Sammy's going to be around. And hopefully they hook him up with one of the ladies in Salem, and he can also have his own storyline and not just be focused on the Allie storyline. Freddie Smith and Chandler Massey, we have an update. Um, people are really confused of whether they're leaving or not. Technically, yes, they're leaving the show. Um, and they left already because they left on September 1st and September 2nd. So, yeah, um, Will and Sonny did leave and to move to Arizona. But Freddie Smith said way back when the news broke that, you know, there's a chance that they'll come back. We know that um, they did it with Kristen, they did it with Brady, they did it, they wanted to do it with Hope, they did it with Maggie, where they're taking people off the canvas just so that they can make room for other characters. And if you've been watching Days, you know there's an explosion of characters that are coming to the show. Um, so many new characters have come to the show, and some old characters that were given a brief time off, like Kristen and Brady have come back along with Chloe and Philip and Jan and just all these different characters come back, Gabby, Rafe. So, so many of the people that people were worried about um, are still coming back to the show. Um, there's only three confirmed, like, we're not coming back exits, which is Greg Vaughn, who plays Eric, um, Christian Alfonso, who plays Hope, and Victoria Confell who we know is not, we can't say she's not coming back, but she's switched to reoccurring so she can look for other work. Of course, she, we know she's a great actress, that she's really good. We can tell the cast loves her. She's got a great personality. She took this role and ran with it. And the reason why I don't get caught up on the fans, like she has to come back, is that the same way we love her, I can see her doing big things in Hollywood, being on you know, other shows, feature films, all the good stuff. The only thing that will slow her down is the epidemic. That's the only thing that will cause her to come back. Same as with um, Camilla Banners and Blaze Gabby. The work just isn't out there. So that could have her come back to the show, but she's such a talented actress, and they are starting to have more and more productions revving up that I wouldn't be shocked if she's already had different things lined up for her to do different casting. So... Yeah, um, but back to Freddie and Chandler, they are in the fall preview, and the actual Days of Our Lives Twitter page actually says, you know, goodbye to Sonny and Will for now. So their exit is only temporary. Plus they're bringing back um, um, Casey Moss, who plays J.J., so we saw in the fall preview that J.J. is also coming back. Plus, um, Brock is coming back, too. Um, he played Evan Spears, Spears. So if he's coming back, then I can't see why they wouldn't bring Sonny and Will because he's a character that directly relates to them as far as like storylines. And there's a chance that he escape prison which means he wouldn't be on the show that long but we'll just have to wait and see until more information comes out before we can be sure about that now normally I do all of my comings and goings separately 
Um, but since there's only a few other updates for the other other shows, there's no need in me doing like a video update on like two characters, Young and the Wrestlers. So now I'm switching to Young and the Wrestlers, where Robert Adamson, who plays Noah Newman, is coming back to Young and the Wrestlers for a short stint. Um, Eileen Davison has set the record straight that she is not on contract and that she is also coming to the show for a short stint only. Um, she's not back on contract as was reported in the past. Um, and she said she never even heard of the person who started the rumor. And on General Hospital, Nathan Parsons, who plays Ethan Lovett, son to Holly and Luke Spencer, Holly Sutton and Luke Spencer, is returning to the show. There's no word on whether it's a short stint or a long stint. We know that his mother's funeral is coming up and he'll probably be there. But chances are he may work with Robert to find out what really happened to Holly. So he could be coming back to the show, but it doesn't say how long he, he's going to be on. Uh, Vernie Watson, who plays Stella Henry, she's going to be whack, he's, she's going to be back the week of September the 14th. Stephen A. Smith, who plays um, Brick, He's going to make a brief appearance next week. And um, Kelly Thibard, who plays Brit, the Britch, we have a return date for her. And that will be February, um, February. I'm sorry for getting tongue tied. I mean Friday. Friday, September 11th. So she will be back next Friday, not February. Kelly Thibard, return date is Friday, September 11th. I don't know why I want to keep saying February, but yeah, next week. So that's it. Um, let me know in the comment section what you think about the coming and goings, who you're excited to see, who you're not excited to see, and I will catch you in the next video.